G'day, so what I'm going to show you today is how to upgrade the touchpad running Android, um, the Cyanogen mod version from Alpha 0.6 to the new nightly builds. As the name suggests, there's a new build out every day, so I'm going to show you how to do that, um, how to install it. So you just need to have had um, Sign engine mod already on your phone, on your tablet, sorry. Let's see if we can adjust that brightness. It's about as good as it gets. So, firstly, I'm going to open the Dolphin browser, which is the one I use the most. Um, I'm going to do a Google search for Lily Puting, not for quick info. There we go. Um, and this is the site that I find provides the best instructions on how to do updates and also news um, about when those updates become available. So if we go to their home page and scroll down we should see it not too far down I think. Where do we have it? There we go. Nightly builds of Engine Mod 9 for the HP touchpad. So this is an article that sort of gives you an idea that it's been released and what it has in, in it is um, it has a link to the nightly builds page which you can then favourite. What's going on here? doesn't want to work for some reason. Oh, I know, it's opening another tab. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. So, this is the article, and what it has is a link. You can also browse through the latest builds at a download page, and that's the link you want. So, if we tap on that, and what it does is it opens it in a new tab for me and we'll end up at this web address now they're called Nightly Kangs um, and when you see the version in uh, your settings about the tablet on the tablet then um, you'll see that it's a Kang build I'm not sure what that means but we have a new one for what date do we have 16th of February so we'll just go ahead and tap on that and that will download it here we go we get this screen save as so see how you you've got the word Kang there it says 17th of Feb. So they say don't expect too much with the nightly builds. There won't be revolutionary changes every day or anything, but there will be updates and things that will come along. So I'm just going to pause the video here and wait until that downloads. So there we go, we've um, finished downloading that file. So I'm just going to Hmm, I don't want to do any of those things. I need to now find the file. And to do that, I shall use ES File Explorer. And I think it should be in, it'll be in download or downloads. I'm not sure which. So that's not that one, it's not downloads, looks like it's just download. There we go. So that's it on the right hand side. Is that going to focus? And what we want to do is just move that. So move to, and then there's a folder called CM install. Put it in there. Okay. So it's been moved successfully. Now we want to reboot. So, hold down the power button, um, we'll just power off, 
tablet will shut down. Once it powers off, then we just want to turn it back on, but we want to go into the Cyanogen Mod options menu. So that should be off. Let's turn it back on and boot Clockwork Clockwork Mod. That's where you want to go into, not Cyanogen Mod. Sorry, Clockwork Mod. So we boot into that. and gives us some options. We want to apply update or rather install zip from SD card. That's the fifth option. We want to choose zip from SD card. That's the top option. We want to scroll down to CM install. Select that one. What do we have at the Kang build? 17th of Feb, select that. Using the volume hard buttons to navigate, install. So it's just going to install it now. It's the nightly build for the 17th of Feb. Should be able to see that there. 2012 02 17. It's installing that. Apparently shouldn't have any trouble with losing settings or anything. It's usually a pretty quick process. There we go. Got some yellow bar. That's just about done. What we're going to do after this is just boot up the tablet. And we're done. So choose it from SD card, we want to go back using the home button to select reboot system now, that's what we want to do so home boot cyanogen mod and this should be it once we are booted I'll just take you into the settings menu and show you the details about the tablet to demonstrate what's happened I've disabled the splash animation for boot up, so you won't see the splash animation, the colourful one, for Sanjay Mod 9, but it should enable faster boot times. That's the claim anyway. So now it's booted up, we go into the settings, on the left hand side, I wonder if any of these are now populated. Reference stops things. Anyway, go down to about tablet and we'll see the Kang version, the nightly Kang of Sunjin Mod, and the build date of Feb 17, Friday, Feb 17. Still on Android 4.0.3. But, there we go. Now what you want to do is bookmark that page with the list of the ROMs, the zip files for the Nightly Kangs, and then, I don't know if you want to install a new one every day, but you might want to install a new one every week or so. There you go. That's how it's done.